Well, hello, local Jacksonville folks. I just wanted to do a amendment to the video I did the other day about selling off a bunch of tackle that I just don't use and how Facebook is basically a total waste of time. I did sell off all the cheap shit. Of course, all the cheap stuff left and all the expensive stuff is still left. The cheap stuff left off in somebody's truck. But I've been kind of cleaning up some stuff here today and I have a bunch of things that I'm gonna kind of show you that are just deal sweeteners if you're interested. So to start off with, I'll start off with the least desirable. This is the least desirable, I guess. I don't even know where I got these, but I got these giant seven knot trebles, a whole bag, brand new. I got these Mustad live bait, O'Shaughnessy short shank hooks. That's at least a hundred. And I've got this entire box right here of all kinds of crazy hooks from big mustads to big circles to short shank. These are short shank Japanese hooks, gold ones like jigging hooks. I mean, there is just tons and tons of stuff in here. Octopus hooks, giant octopus hooks, um, just all kinds, all kinds in here. There's a giant octopus hook. There's another octopus. So you just have to look through here. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff. There's a mustad with a swivel on it because I probably did that for some reason with my, you know, eye opening tool here from Braid. So all these hooks are available for a song. And I hope you got a good voice. Okay, then over here, this is all swivels. Here's big snap swivels with ball bearing actual swivels on it. These are snap swivels. Used to use these for shark fishing, believe it or not. Then I have regular snaps that are more regular sized I don't know what size they are but it looks like about another seven swivel on it there's just a hundred of them in there probably uh, then over here let's see then I've got a whole bunch of other stuff I got some miscellaneous just giant swivels I mean I don't know if anybody would use any of those and then I have all these. These are quality swivels here. These are probably about a hundred pound swivel. All right. And there's hundreds of them in there. So I got all this stuff here. I always just call it deal sweeteners. Nobody has come to look at the downriggers. You're going to wish, if you're wanting to get into the trolling scene, you're going to wish that you picked up these downriggers. That's for damn sure by next year. So, I'm trying to pack these all in. Trying to pack these all in in categories. I got a few lures here. How about that? These things were the hottest thing on the market for a while. These crabs, 
with the hook in them with the oh, am i pointing it at the camera I'm not, i don't know if i'm pointing it at the camera these movable claws and everything and you pull it backwards and it goes across the bottom like that i don't even know where i got these or why i got these i did oh yeah i remember I had some smaller ones and I tried catching sheep's head on them. It didn't work. But if you're a creek guy or whatever, these are pretty expensive. I remember they were absolutely slaying the, um, what they call them, the sea brim on these things down in Australia. I remember seeing, so I got that. I got this thing called a ledge hog. It's a uh, blade bait. It had trebles on it. I put on these singles for you. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of that. I got these quick clips. I know a lot of surf guys. I got all different sizes here. There you go. That's what they look like for snapping on lures, snapping on rigs. I know the surf guys like these, all different sizes. I think there's some bigger ones in here. Yeah. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a small, smaller one. I know somebody likes these. I remember seeing somebody use these. I called them quick clips. Let's see. Over here. Oh, I don't know even know where I got these, but these are really small. These are from Mustad. These are just little tiny, tiny quick clips. You tie your line here and you can kind of snap on allure with that spring right there so i got those <coughs> i just hate to throw all this out because i'm not using it i mean that's where it's gonna go all right let's see what over here i think i ordered these by mistake i wanted larger ones but i got smaller ones Small red Duloc snaps. Some people actually use these, but in the saltwater world, I don't know if that is going to hold on a big fish, that's for sure. But there's, I don't know, hundreds of them in here. All right, I can barely close this because they're, they're so packed in there. All right, what else? Oh, just a big bag of beads. If you have any use for beads. And then here's the thing you're going to want if you're going to get into the trolling scene. All right. I mean, I got... Oh, here's the ledge hog thing for that lure right here. This is three quarter ounce, three quarter ounce ledge hog blade bait, ledgehog.com. How to rig it on the back. It dives and it vibrates. It's a vibrate lure according to what hook you or what eye you put it in here. So there's that. But with the downriggers, this could be the deal sweetener right here. I don't know if anybody ever saw it, but I made up my own dead cigar minnow rig since I was a dead cigar minnow troller. Not wasting time running up and down the beach, wasting three hours trying to get the elusive pogey. So I made up my own rig. I actually made my own rigs 
years ago and then this was a refined rig you got i think 42 44 pound king fishing wire you got a duster i love these kind of dusters because they don't weigh anything and they're really flashy and i don't remember if you saw the video or not of how i made this you break up your cigar minnow you lip latch them right here, right through the top of the head. It gives them forward tracking weight. Then you bend the scar minnow a little bit and you stick this right in his, just, it goes about right in his belly, I guess. Right? And then I let this one swing. Some of these, I have this hook pointed down the opposite way and some I had pointed up so I just left a couple of these totally rigged in case somebody would be interested in making their own dead cigar minnow rig it's got a uh, swivel on the end so this is just an example I brine my cigar minnows. They get really super tough. Push all the poop out of them, break them up, and put them on these rigs. They don't last forever in a day, but if you're cruising along at, say, 1200 RPM, uh, you can cover ground. I was big into covering ground, and if you don't think that a dead cigar minnow rig with some flash on it here works like this. The best day I ever had on king fishing in my entire life with on charters was we had 33 king mackerel by 12 o'clock in the afternoon and it was me and two other guys. And all we did was turn and burn on them. There's a bunch of the rigs where I pinch on this weight. That's where you're going to run the hook up through under his jaw perfectly straight and right behind the lips and he catches right on there. And then you have these double hooks. So this isn't for like tournament fishing. Man, them tournament guys are all into little tiny hooks, blah, blah, blah going dead slow so the pogey swims past you while you're you're barely moving clogging up your engine i'm not was never into that so there's a bunch of them pre-made sort of right there and then of course i got some kind of super deal here you got silicone skirts all different colors Pull one out and show you. These are the red and white. Not the greatest color in the world. But silicone trolling skirts. Uh, you got also green and chartreuse or whatever. And then you got your clear flake. This goes on front of your cigar minnow. Your cigar minnow will be sitting here on that exact rig. And as you're moving them through the water, this creates a little bit of a flash and sort of protects the front of the cigar minnow while you're trolling them. I was never into the rubber ones here as much as I was into the other ones. So these are brand new. I don't believe these have ever... Let me get all that air out of there. I don't think these have ever been used. I got some kind of super monster deal here and I got all these. Then you got your flash. Just like these. These are all pre-rigged here. Then you got all your flash ones. Bunches of them. All with a rubber band around them, keeping them all nice and straight. I always like these. They, they don't weigh anything. They don't, they're just there for giving a little flash. That's all they're there for. 
So, if somebody's wanting to down, get into those downriggers and they want to get into trolling, live and or dead bait, then these will really be part of that package. I'm selling the downriggers for 400 bucks with the swivel bases, the extensions, the extension booms, uh, let's see, a lot of hardware. So that's kind of going to be a deal of the century here. This shit stuff here should go with that. So these are some of the things that I forgot. The other thing that I forgot in my video the other day was I also have two aluminum anchors. One called the Grapp Grappler. It's an aluminum jetty anchor. It bends out relatively easy. Not super easy, but I mean, you can hook into the rocks. One's about 12 pounds, I think. And I welded little shovels on the end of the, the tines. So you can use it on a smaller boat. You can use it uh, in sand. So it will be a sort of a do-all anchor for a smaller boat. And then I got one about eight pounds, which is an old, I don't think they make them anymore. The company was called Mighty Might. And they're aluminum pipe and they have aluminum tines on them and that would be for a smaller boat you know a john boat a small 16 17 18 foot boat so i got that and all of this i forgot to put so this is just what i call deal sweeteners um these are all over ebay i think you can get them pretty cheap i'm just going to use throw these in I cleaned out my entire tackle chest I just spent about two and a half hours cleaning out stuff that I know I'll never use and I'm just gonna call these all deal sweeteners I mean look at this is probably hundreds of dollars for the hooks I mean if you went and bought them all new I mean they're not all super desirable but you could go through these I mean, who's going to use this? You could. You use that for sharking. That's some serious quality, like, welded eye. It's got a welded eye. So, there's a lot of hooks in here that are desirable, and then there's other ones that probably aren't all that desirable. Um, oh, here's one of those rigs. I'll never get it out of here. You got to dump this. Yeah, this is one I'm going to put in the other other bag. See, this is one that I made. It doesn't have the hook on it for trolling the cigar minnow. And this hook points down. So the difference between this and a traditional like tournament style kingfish rig, I mean, these could be used for ballyhoo strip baits you could use these bonita belly baits would really work but the difference between this and using like little tiny trebles for king fishing is the fact that you get a decent fish on and you could really pull on them because you're grabbing some meat with these you're not grabbing very much meat with a number four number six treble hook so this goes this goes over here actually but I mean you could you could sort through them I think mr. I fish sent me these I mean believe it or not there's some guys that are using this stuff for cat fishing and I don't even use anything that big really for for um, saltwater fishing. I mean, look at that. I don't use that. Maybe if I was tarpon fishing, I could use this. 
but I don't think I would because it's got barbs on the back and that makes sort of a weak point. Them hooks will snap right there. Here's another one. These are kind of, yeah, these are catfishing hooks or something. I don't know. But there's all kinds of stuff in here. These are, you could use these for snagging. I don't know what anybody would use these for. Some people like these type of hooks for sheep's head fishing. That's what they call live bait O'Shaughnessy. They're two-aught size. Oh, here's one with the, with the chin weight. That goes over here too, but I'll throw that in there. All right, so that's just some of the stuff. Uh, just deal sweeteners here. The swivels is a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I mean, there's just all kinds of good swivels in there. So that, and I forgot, like I said, I forgot the two jetty anchors. And I'm not quoting pricing here, but all you have to do is email me. I got four ugly stick striper rods, casting, medium light. I got those left. I've got the ugly stick tiger jigging, six foot three, heavy action, bull red, sharkin type uh, bottom fishing, offshore plus vertical jigging, of course. I've got those rods left. It's funny how the really good stuff nobody wants. <laughs> it's really kind of funny. The good stuff nobody wants. I still have the knife left. I've got the, uh, the heretic knife. Of course, I still have the propeller left. Um, so I just wanted to make this because I just spent hours cleaning everything out. And this should go with the downriggers. This should go with the downriggers right here. So thanks for watching, stopping by, trying to. I have so much different stuff and I'm just trying to thin it out. I'm not doing anything radical here. I'm not like getting rid of all. One guy called me and said, oh, you get rid of your boat? Because in the last video I said, I guess I'll sell this prop if nobody ever wants it, I'll probably just sell it when I sell the boat. Well, eventually, someday, I'd like to have another boat. I mean, I didn't really want to just like, you know, die inside the Jetty Wolf someday. You know, I'd like to have a new boat. Not a new boat, but another boat, another aluminum boat. I might even go to a fiberglass boat if I ran into the right kind. But that's in the future. That's in the future. But every time I look at a boat, I'm always thinking in the back of my mind, hmm, would that boat work over in Lake Pontchartrain in Louisiana? Slidell. So that's always in the back of my mind. Because, <laughs> of course, that's where I'd love to end up. Alrighty, thanks for stopping by.